What is up, YouTube? It's Respawn, and this is Zombies gameplay on Black Ops 2. And this is pretty much my gameplay when I first started playing. I know I'm actually a week late on it. But yeah, this is my first time playing, and it's relatively long. And now I can even go longer, so I'm going to use this because it's short, I guess, and it shows a lot. Well, pretty much right here, this is the map called Transit. And um, this is a bus that's pretty much controlled by this robotic little dude I guess is uh, he's a conductor or whatever I don't even know what you call a bus driver but yeah pretty much this bus moves from stop to stop and right now this stop the stop right here is your spawn stop I don't know what to call it I think you can call it like a okay like I don't even know it's called it spawn that's why I like to call it but yeah this is spawn stop pretty much you start moving and you have to start killing zombies like my friend Jake's doing right there, McShysta. And you just gotta kill zombies and stuff. And when you start moving, you're gonna see the zombies behind you just running. It's pretty much what you're trying to do is you're trying to get on the side of the bus and try to get in and kill you. So you have to shoot them and that's what's cool about transit. It's implemented a bus and that's so cool. Like right now, when I was playing this, I was freaking out because this is just new to me. Like zombies is just like behind the building, you know, do all your stuff needs to be like teleporting and box the box special box or whatever and now it's like you're on a bus and you get to go stop to stop so pretty much right now we're moving through if you jump out at this part there's these little things that'll get out and kill you so you don't really want to jump out I'll probably post another zombies gameplay just to show everything but right now I'm just showing my experience when I first played this I was freaking out because when when you get to a higher level, when you're driving in the bus, there's a lot more zombies following you. So, you gotta be really focused. So, the bus, it's kind of fast, and it honks to let you know it's coming up or if it's leaving. So, right now we're gonna get up on a stop. I believe so, I don't know what's gonna go on. Got, but pretty much you can, when you leave the bus, when it honks, you better be back on that bus because it will leave. It will honk, it will wait like two seconds, enough for you to get back in, and then it will leave. And so, if it leaves, you have to wait there until it comes all the way back around. See, it's honking right now. I got in, and you shut the door after you rape a zombie, and it's going to sit there for like maybe a second and go. And there you go. And it can do that without you in there. Just be re just notice that that can happen, and it's not hard. You know, at least level three to survive there, but it's kind of kind of sucks. You have to sit there and wait. But you don't want to run out in the open. See, in between the stops, we already hit two stops. We were to spawn, and we hit that stop. In between these stops, there are literally these little short little midgets with big ass heads that will attack you and rape you. Unless you want to get freaking raped, I suggest you don't just wait for the bus. Um, I also there's some Easter eggs too that I'll show, but so far. This is how it's rolling, and it, I don't know, it's, it's long, and I'm going to try to talk for that long. So right now, we are going to third stop, and I like calling this Herschel's Farm off of um, Walking Dead, and pretty much it's the farm, and the other one was the diner, this old 50s diner. I, I think it took place, it looks like 50s, let's just say that, it looks like the 50s. So right now, I'm just trying to kill everybody. Me and McShice are just like, ah, yeah, let's kill because we're having a great time because this map is awesome. I don't know if we get out because this is our first time. We're pretty, I guarantee you, I'm pretty timid about it. And see, we're going to get out. We're like, oh, yeah, let's get out. Let's freaking shoot some zombies. So. And then, yeah, we're just trying to clear it out. But this bus, I don't know if it leaves us. Yeah, it doesn't leave us. We end up moving. And you might want to shut the doors because they will come through the doors. It's not smart. Um, I'm pretty sure there's little midgets walking in there, but those zombies will just walk right up in there and kill you. So, yeah, that was the farm. I don't know. You really didn't see it that much. I'm going to have to really make another video to show you guys the actual, like, schematics and a whole set out of how transit is or the way it is. But, yeah, my favorite part is the bus and the weapon in there right there, the B23R. This thing's a three-round burst pistol. It's awesome, especially in multiplayer. But when you go on the bus, I suggest you buy this because it's cheap and it will rape people. Or zombies, they're not people. Well, it depends your perspective. But, yeah, it will rape the crap out of people and it's awesome. 
So here we go at another stop. I think this is the town. Well, see, all these names, these are the names I gave until I found out about a multiplayer match called Grief, which I might post up to. But this is town. This is the main part of town. It's all messed up. Wait, no, wait, hold on, my bad, my bad. This isn't town, this is something else. It's like warehouse. The next stop's town, so it's actually four stops. But yeah, this, there's no reason to be over here. But I will show you how to, if, I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to turn on the power, but this is where you turn on the power. And it's this door right behind me. It's like a little shed. So I'm gonna be posting that too, because I'm gonna be showing like all the attachments and stuff video. But yeah, just to know, that this is after this stop is going to be town and each stop you can survive it's possible to survive and there's a way to do it which I didn't figure out till later on by dying a lot and understanding what to do so yeah yeah that's it right there that's the uh, that's where you turn on the power it's pretty scary down there it was weird because you know we didn't want to go down there it's our first time playing we're kind of scared and you just like go to like this big ass white room and it's creepy and the only way to get out is to have your little turbine which it's like a fan and it generates power and you make that actually in the beginning of the spawn so that's one thing to know and well right now we're gonna be going to town my favorite stop because I'm really playing um, grief online well now now playing grief after I made this gameplay. I'm very comfortable in town, but town is awesome. So, you know, we just go, and there's the bus driver all. You don't want to mess with the bus driver. If you hit him, his eyes will turn red, and he'll tell you to stop, and he gets pretty mad. So leave him alone. He, can't, he gets butthurt. It's all right. But, all right, we're going to wait to get to town. So, yeah. The best thing to do is you, I think one person should take one side of the bus, another person should take the other side of the bus. It's more effective. You're able to kill people easily and not get overrun by zombies. And trust me, you can get overrun if you're not communicating or whatever. So, kind of good to be a little smart. So this is town. I don't, I'm not sure if we're, we're going to get out because we're scared. But yeah, this is pretty much town and you get stuck here, so it's like... Yeah, you get pretty much stuck here. You have to buy the door on your left. Oh, you could get through. You have to jump over, though. It's kind of stupid, so we just went back in. We're like, screw this. But yeah, we're actually doing pretty good. I've been mean, surviving for a long time. What? That's pretty good. Five rounds. <laughs> well, not compared to what I did now. I think I got like 30 already. I'm probably going to keep going up, but yeah. So, the B3R, whatever, blah. And there's McShy stuff. And the bus goes again. And I'm serious, if you miss the bus on a high round, you're going to be screwed. And it depends. It depends if you want to stay there. Like, if you know how to strategize, you can stay there. But the bus is pretty safe. And they can, you know, they can hop through anywhere. Anywhere they want to. So, that's one note to take. Is you can get overrun in transit very easily if you're not thinking. And you might want to upgrade. I'm talking about hit the boxes and stuff. I've actually, I don't even think I've seen a boss. I'm pretty sure I haven't. <laughs> Besides playing Grief. But yeah, this this weapon right here, this pistol, I want to emphasize it again. That it is amazing. So, yeah. And, well, best thing to do is you can pop a nade through the back. Like, when you have a lot of zombies like that, you can pop a nade through the back. You just have to time it right. And especially up this hill. You hit it right. And you can kill your um, kill a bunch of zombies. Uh, you would lose like ten guys. I would have been dead. So it's pretty effective. Also, I just don't hop out of the bus. I'm telling you, just don't even do it. It's not worth it. It's annoying. Those little midgets are annoying. I will make a video emphasizing that those midgets are annoying. I will emphasize that they are annoying because they are. And right there, I just had a console lag because I have a stupid old Xbox. Like, it's not my rendering, if you think, oh, yeah, he has better, no, it is actual console lag. My Xbox is so stupid, and I, look, when you have a 2007 model Xbox trying to run these new graphics, it's going to freeze, so that was console lag right there. My console's just freezing up because it's so crappy, like, my Xbox is going to blow up. I'm going to tell you right now, 
I'm gonna be truth to all you, my Xbox will blow up one of these days. Like one day I'm just gonna be sitting there playing and it's just gonna explode. I'm, like, ah, ah, I'm just freaking die because I'm telling you, that console lag and the way my Xbox sounds right now, it's horrible. But yeah, it doesn't last that long, so it's not a big deal. But if you're wondering what happened, console lag because my Xbox is trash. But yeah, this is where we spawn. You guys remember this? And see what what, Ch what Shice is doing right now. He's making uh, parts. And you find parts around the area. And it'll say pick up part. And when you pick it up, you click X and you hold it and you'll build stuff. So that's one thing to know. And it, I was exp We were experimenting. We really didn't know. And then we found out that, you know, there's a lot of parts on this map. But yeah, see, we made it in time for the bus that's going to leave. And I think we're going to be going back to another stop. And we should be actually dying soon because we didn't make it too far. But yeah. Carpenter. So, it's best that, you know, run in circles. You know, come out on each stop. Get your stuff. Get a lot of weapons. Especially on the power. Build your parts. Because you can actually build parts and put them. Like, you find parts, actually. You, can't, you find parts and you put them onto your bus. The other things you build, like zombie shields and all the cetera, which I'm going to be showing. I'm actually going to make a gameplay on zombies parts in transit and then I'm gonna make another video on how stupid the little midgets are in between the stuff it won't kill you but they're so annoying and they're ugly like I've never seen something so ugly in my life but yeah that's one thing to know so this guy you don't want to mess with him because uh, I should sure read if you actually see he's mad because he's better even though he's not gonna die because he's a robot or technically he can but yeah so stop by stop Get your weapons, rack up the points, get back in the bus, upgrade it, upgrade, get all the upgrades, build the parts, find them, and you'll be good. You want to do it in the beginning, because as soon as you start going up, and I haven't done it here, but I've done it in another, like, another game, because it's my first time playing, it gets very intense. There's so many zombies following you. Like, and here's Diner. So you guys really gonna get a look at the diner. This is the diner, and right now we were just deciding who's gonna open the door. So, and I mean, look at it. It looks like a 50s diner. You can't. I don't know why, but look at that. 50s diner. It's all broke down and listen to the music. Just broken down. But yeah, and this is what level eight. And watch, already starting to get overrun. Easily, just easily get overrun. And it's just basically just get trapped off. So you, that's why you gotta watch out and I get died. So yeah, YouTube, see ya. Like, subscribe, whatever, and that's Zombies Black Ops 2.